Good morning everyone, MA in Geneva, Switzerland, and we've just finished 10 days of online instruction with our students, and um, it feels like we're moving out of panic mode and into a more strategic planning mode. Um, and I don't know, I feel like I have more questions than answers at this point um, as I observe what's happening both locally in my school and also worldwide in education. And so I have a couple thoughts on that, but really um, kind of in a place where there, like I said, there's more questions than, than answers. Um, but one thing I'm trying to do as I move into more strategic planning for my classes is to be intentional about what I'm doing. So when I'm asking students to do something, I'm asking them to do it with intention. Um, and that goes also for the feedback that I give them. Uh, I need to be intentional about that and I try to be. What kind of feedback on what kind of assignments? When should I give that feedback for the maximum benefit to um, ongoing learning? And how am I giving that feedback to them? It, does it have to be in written form? Can I record something for them? And can they do it themselves, you know, some peer assessment or some self-assessment? But I'm trying to be more intentional in what I'm doing. And on a larger scale, some things that are questions that are rattling around in my head are what's happening um, worldwide with educational reform. Um, as uh, people start to make decisions about what's gonna happen with our educational systems for the next few months, and then also after uh, COVID, who's making those decisions and what are they basing their decisions on? And this is where I think teachers need to step up because if we don't make our voices heard, those decisions will be made for us. And I'd like to think that you know, teachers know what they're talking about when they explain what's happening in their classroom and what they observe in their classroom. And so I guess I'm just trying to collect a lot of data and make observations about what's happening because I want to be part of that educational reform that many of us have been waiting a long time for. And um, so just make your voice heard and get out there and let your leaders know what's happening in your classroom with some hard data that you've collected um, because uh, we need to be part of the decision-making process when it comes to big system-wide changes in education. Mm, that's all I have for you today. Talk to you tomorrow.